food production begins in the field. And this is where control must begin to avoid or reduce the hazards of contamination in foods so that they will be safe when they reach the consumer. The first controllable factor is the location of production areas. Plantings, livestock operations, and facilities must be located far away from sources of pollution. These sources may be industrial plants that release gases, polluted rivers, refuse dumps, and major population centers. Farms must have means of defense against invasion and spread of contamination. Vehicles, persons, and other bodies entering from outside can introduce contaminants that impair the health of plants and animals. Another source of contamination are the facilities of an agricultural property. These facilities must be properly located so that they will not produce contamination. The water used for cleaning purposes, as well as the rainwater, will entrain the animal feces and contaminate the crop. Facilities must be built in such a manner as to avoid or reduce as much as possible the possibility of contamination of the production. The facilities must be kept in an adequate hygienic state. Pests must be controlled as much as possible to prevent the foods being produced and stored in the field from being contaminated by rodents, insects, and other animals. Livestock facilities must also be kept as clean as possible to avert contamination of healthy animals and ward off pests. Persons involved in primary food production must be trained and made aware of their responsibility for preventing and causing contamination depending on how they do their jobs. The importance of this point may be exemplified by milk production. The hands of the milker or the person who operates the milking machine can contaminate the animals and the milk that is being produced with Staphylococcus aureus if he or she does not take the trouble of washing their hands before touching the already clean udder and milking machine. After harvesting, vegetables can be contaminated in the course of handling, storage, transportation, and distribution steps. Contamination origin can be biological, physical, or chemical, and all efforts must be done to ensure the safety of foods. Animal health must always be controlled by a veterinarian. There are many diseases that can be transmitted to humans through the consumption of foods of animal origin, such as meat, milk, and eggs. Control of animal health and the maintenance of hygiene throughout breeding and processing will ensure that the foods produced are safe. Another factor in the contamination of products of animal and plant origin is the indiscriminate use of veterinary drugs and also pesticides. The Codex Alimentarius Commission sets the limits on veterinary drugs and pesticide levels that can persist on foods without presenting a hazard to consumer health. These limits must not be exceeded, since some hazards, such as antibiotic residues in milk, can only be controlled at this stage of its production, since there is no later stage in the processing of dairy products where this substance can be eliminated or reduced to acceptable levels. Antibiotic residues in milk have created an extremely serious problem of microbial resistance on consumers that don't react when treated with these drugs. Another important hazard to be controlled in primary production is salmonella in poultry and eggs. This control is only effective when all efforts are concentrated in the primary production stage. Fish and shellfish are associated with certain types of food poisoning in human beings. This poisoning can be avoided by noting the locations at which fish and shellfish have been harvested. A variety of toxins are produced by certain species of algae and several are common to certain fish species. The place where the catch was taken is an indication of the probability of the presence of those toxins. Shellfish can also transmit viruses that are present in the waters where they breed or are caught since their food system that filters water around it is highly favorable to concentration of contaminants. Chemical contamination can also taint fish when care is not taken on the fishing vessels to avoid contamination from lubricants and fuels. Apart from the waters in which fish and shellfish breed and or are caught, the water used in primary production, either for irrigation, to water livestock, or for cleaning facilities and utensils, must be of good sanitary quality. This means that water must not be just another source of contamination, but a vehicle to ensure the health of herds and crops. 
Failure to control the water can lead to problems with microorganisms carried in it, which can ultimately reach the consumer. Many times, the guarantee of safe food to the consumer can only be achieved by controlling primary production.